Hello students, welcome to my video number 55 and in this video I am going to start a very interesting story when the fish laughed. It is a folk tale, an Indian folk tale and this folk tale is, a, is collected from the book named Indian Fairy Tales and this book is edited by Joseph Jacob published by published by Putnam Sons New York London in 1910 this book holds 29 Indian folk tale stories different folk tale stories 29 of them are, uh, are contained or collected in this uh, book which is Indian fairy tales so this one story is also a part of that book and it is actually a Kashmiri folk tale now before starting let us see what is given here some um, some warm up exercises given before beginning the lesson let us see it's given here it is a tradition of every region to have stories that are passed down through generations name the uh, name the stories from with uh, form sorry name the story forms with the help of the hints now these are three uh, letters uh, words where the three letters some letters are missing with the hints we have to find the May, the word, the type of uh, stories. A tale explaining the origins of the world or of people. This is called myth. M-Y-T-H. Myth. Next one, uh, the hint is a tale with a nor moral, moral or lesson to be learned. That is called fable. F-A-B-L-E. And third one, a tale about an extraordinary occurrence in the everyday life of a person something extraordinary and that is folk tale f o l k t a l e so this is all you must know about these different types of words used for these different types of stories now uh, let us begin this uh, lesson it is in the form of a play as we can see the different characters are given here characters in the play there are five scenes in the lesson and as we know these plays are meant to be staged are meant to be done on stage so that's why we will see lot of description about the setting of the uh, room the setting of the uh, stage is described here and this we will see in detail so before that let us see the characters the characters here according to their importance in the lesson they are given in this order the king who's the ruler of a kingdom in the valley of kashmir since it is a uh, folk tale from Kashmir so this one is the king is a ruler of, of a kingdom in the valley of Kashmir queen his newly wed wife the second character then wazir is there that is the chief minister of the kingdom Amir is there who is wazir's son Bhaskar is another character a well to do farmer a well to do farmer means a very rich farmer Shivani Bhaskar's daughter, daughter of the farmer, Hina, one of the queen's maids, servant, Bhaskar's servant. So this is about here, the, uh, this, these are the different characters. One fisherwoman is also there. So these are the various characters. Now let us see the first scene, that is scene one and let us see the setting. What is the setting of the first scene? The queen, attended by her maids, is sitting in an enclosed balcony of her palace, amusing herself by watching people carrying their wares to the town market. She hears the raucous cry of a fisherwoman and instructs Hina to buy some fish from the woman. Now, in, this, in scene one, what we see that queen is attended by her maids, means she's there, the attends are there, uh, sorry, the maids are there surrounding her and uh, she is sitting in an enclosed balcony of her palace and she is watching the people carrying their wares, means different products to the town market and she is just amusing herself, means seeing that she is uh, like kind of entertaining herself or feeling good looking at the people. She hears that at that time she hears a raucous cry, means a very harsh cry of a fisherwoman selling fishes. And then she asks Hina, the maid, Hina, we know one of the queen's maid, to buy some fish from the woman. Now let us see the dialogues of the characters given here. Queen, Hina, buy that big silver fish. Oh, 
वेट इज इट अ मेल और अ फीमेल फिश फिश अ वुमन इट इज अ मेल फिश योर मेजेस्टी क्वीन डिसअपॉइंटेडली ओ आई कांट ईट इट देन हिना वाई ओ येस ऑफ कोर्स we allow no male apart from the king himself to enter her majesty's palace so this is the beginning of the story uh, as uh, the maid uh, is asked to go and buy fish the queen first confirms whether the fish is a male or a female and the fisher woman tells that it is a female uh, sorry it is a male fish now queen gets disappointed upset because she cannot eat male fish why because no male is allowed to enter the enter her palace it's it only king is allowed right then a loud laughter is heard everyone looks around at each other looking for the source of laughter then she hear loud laughter from somewhere and nobody could make out who's laughing everybody starts looking here and there now let us see what happens fisher woman with wide open eyes the fish the fish is laughing see exclamation is given means she is excited she is exclaiming this oh the fish is laughing everybody looks into the basket and indeed a fish is leaping about in its mouth oh, with its mouth open now fisher woman understood that one of the fish one of the fishes among the uh, among the whole uh, bunch that she brought in the basket one of them was uh, laughing and she could make out and she announces that queen flushed with anger how dare you guards guards she calls the guards and she gets angry how could a fish laugh at her two guards from the front gate of the palace approach the balcony get hold of that woman tie her up now she is very angry with the fish woman also and she asks the guards to go and catch her up and tie her up The frightened fisher woman leaves behind her basket and starts running up the road as fast as her legs can carry her. Meanwhile the queen angrily marches off into her bedroom. Now the fisher woman gets very much frightened and she starts running from there and she just uh, leaves the basket behind. The queen angrily marches off into her bedroom. Why is the queen angry? Because a fish laughed at her and this, this this she could not take she could not take out now let us see scene 2 inside the queen's bedroom now what's going on there queen how dare a fish laugh at me maids draw the curtains and leave me alone i will not see anyone inform the king that i am angry a mere fish now see we get to see that uh, she is very much uh, Uh, like a uh, uh, insensible uh, queen who just gets angry and feels too much humiliated and insulted because a fish laughed at her now this is something like uh, uh, throwing light on her character on her nature that she is not at all sensible and not having that uh, kindness also how dare a fish laugh at me this she could not bear she could not take this insult and that's why she is very much angry and asks the maid to draw the curtains because draw the curtains means uh, why she asks that so that she wants because she wants to leave alone she wants to uh, stay alone the maids draw the heavy curtains and leave her the room is dark after a while the king enters hurriedly now the king was informed of course of this matter and he runs uh, enters hurriedly into uh, the um, queen's room king's come lovingly what is it my dear who has dared to offend you so we see that how much the king loves her loves his queen and he is so politely lovingly asking her who has dared to offend her queen cheerfully my husband i have always been honored in my dear father's kingdom never in all my life have i faced such humiliation a fish a mere fish laughed at me in public now she uh, explains all the reason of her anger she tells that she had never been dishonored in her father's kingdom means she was taking it to be an insult uh, so as if the the fish uh, dishonored her a fish a mere fish laughed at me in public in public means in front of so many people her guards and her maids 
king with confusion and, and doubt a fish laughed at you what do you mean queen with rising anger she gets more angry with that uh, doubt like she understood that the king was doubting her and she gets more angry don't you believe me if you think i am lying i will leave at once for my dear father's house she gets more angrier and she asks that if you don't believe me i am going to leave your palace and going back to my father's house king consolingly she he consoles he makes her feel little comfortable no no my dear i do believe you don't be angry wipe away these tears your tears give me more pain that pain than they give you give me a few days and i will punish whoever is responsible for this offense now he loves uh, his wife so much he cannot see her crying and in pain so he just consoles her comforts her that you don't worry i will find the person who has uh, disgraced you who has humiliated you the king leaves the queen's bedroom and let us see what happens in the next scene that is scene number 3 inside the wazir's home now the third scene is in inside the wazir's home the wazir is sitting with his head in his hands his son amir enters now this is we see what something like uh, uh, the scene changes here and the we get, we just get to see the things happening with wazir in his house amir enters amir we know is the son of the wazir, of this wazir amir with great concern father what is the ma- matter are you ill no wazir says no but soon i will be dead amir what an inauspicious inauspicious thing to say father did anybody hurt you tell me and i will help you now wazir is looking very much upset he says that very soon i am going to die now amir the son gets worried at that he like feels bad at hearing such thing from his father so he says that just tell me the reason of your uh, up uh, your uh, uh, worry i will be he- i will try to help you wazi you can't amir it is the king he will have me killed if i cannot get to the bottom of the strange incident that occurred at the queen's palace today now he tells the whole thing to his son that the king has ordered him to find out the uh, culprit who disgraced the queen and otherwise this wazir would be killed amir what happened tell me everything the wazir says this morning as the queen was buying fish from a woman a fish started laughing at the queen amir disbelievingly this is of course a very extraordinary strange thing to happen so amir also doesn't believe what a fish laughed at the queen how is that possible was he says possible or not the king is certainly out of his mind he has given me a week's time to find out the reason behind the laughter of the fish if i am not able to do so he will surely have me killed i have absolutely no idea what to do now what we see here at that time the kings and queens they used to rely a lot on their ministers and here also the king himself like uh, they don't get into anything and uh, they did not get into anything and they just asked the ministers to find out the problem and find out the solution so this this instruction was given to wazir also to get into the deep, get into the deep of the matter and find out the reality Amir is silent for some time stroking the beard on his handsome face now Amir was very much worried and he was that's why he was silent how to take out his father into the from that situation now Amir father rest assured i will surely find the solution to your problem so he just Amir says that you don't worry i am giving you assurance that i will surely find a solution to your problem wazir all right my son though i do not have much hope this may probably be the last time that we two stand in each other's company now he is very much disheartened wazir he knows that he could not get into the deep of that incident and could not find out the reason of such thing happening in the queen's palace so he knew that he was going to die so he is very much disheartened and very much upset and worried still he says he says to his son that okay if you have uh, if you have hope to do anything 
you uh, you just uh, fi find out and try to do something otherwise this is the last time that we do stand in each other's company that means we uh, you may lose me i may die and you may lose me father and son embrace means he feels a uh, little emotional and he gets little emotional and they embrace each other so till here this video <coughs> will continue with scene 4 and 5 in the next video uh, but i would request you all after watching the video give a reading and then again watch the video that is twice if you watch the video the lesson will be very much clear to you all so uh, see you soon in the next video everybody take care and god bless you all